three phase power on their field here. They use a converter to change single phase into three phase to make this whole system work. Now it would have been difficult to run three phase power all the way to the center of this crop. This is a center pivot here where water is pumped up into the sprinkler system. This pivot goes throughout the entire crop. There's a pump to run the water up in the center of the pivot. absolutely gorgeous morning here in Wisconsin. We're overlooking a beautiful sod farm that requires a, a very large pivot to irrigate the entire system here. Three-phase power is required and a lot of the agriculture environments don't have three-phase power. At the end of this pivot system is a booster pump. That covers the areas of the field that can't be reached by the typical towers, the corners or other areas of the field that he can turn the booster on to make sure they get the irrigation that's necessary. Each section of this pivot's got a three-phase motor, and as the motors power up, they have to advance these wheels so the whole thing is synchronized to stay in a straight line as it swings an arc. The three-phase power requirements to run these motors vary because they're going on and off at different times. Inside this box is a three-phase motor. This powers a gear drive, which runs down this shaft, which powers both wheels to drive this, thing whole, this whole thing forward. Each wheel. So inside this box is a three-phase motor. And this motor powers these gears. Hey, look, there's a bee. Look at that guy. 